The most important thing is anytime when you're running a business, small business, big business, whatever type of business it is, right? Anytime you start to get frustrated, right? Because you're sitting there and you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. It's time to look for an automation process for that. And it just so happens in social media because there's so much activity and so much stuff getting put out there every single day that you need to do it every single day, multiple times throughout the day. So just like if I post something on Facebook, nobody's going to, hardly anybody's going to see that. I can post that same material three times later that day and I probably get maybe a small percentage to actually see that, that content. The same thing in Google Plus, you know, you have to look at like who's actually on their phone. When you're on your, when you're on your phone, you're on your phone for five minutes when you're waiting for the train. You're, you're on the phone for 10 minutes in between a meeting. Here, you're not constantly on your phone. So you need to automate the social media process so that you can be in front of your target market when they're most likely to be on their actual phone or PC or in bed sitting there at night. Um, so we try to figure out where, what, what time of day and where, they, where, where they're actually viewing the content. So there's a couple tools that we use to do this, okay? And I don't think any one particular tool solves everything, okay? I know you mentioned Hootsuite. Um, there's, there's a buffer. Um, there's Meet Edgar. There's um, uh, socialchamp.io. There are several social media automation tools. They all have their own special niche. They all work great. And in fact, we use some most we, we use all of them in tandem together for different projects, right? Because everyone has different projects. Every client has different different projects. We have different projects, and each one of them support different social networks. So the one that I'll, I'll share with your audience today is SocialChamp.io. Okay, and we just started using SocialChamp um, a few months ago. I'd say about a month or two ago ourselves, and. What Social Champ does, what, what I like about Social Champ is that it supports Google Plus, right? So you run on Hootsuite or I, I don't know what, to, what, what exactly one, one you um, use, but you know, um, I know that, that most of these don't support uh, Google Plus. And I'm a Google Plus small business advisor for Google, so it's important that I'm constantly putting out content on, that, on, on my Google Plus channel, you know? Um, so how it works with Social Champ is um, obviously to start the day out, right? We go out and we curate content. We would go to like a BuzzSumo and, and get the top most popular content in, in, uh, in, in CEO, leadership, um, you know, marketing. I try to stay away from so much marketing stuff. I try to take that layer off and talk about things surrounding marketing, right? That, but ultimately we're building into marketing, but people get so bombarded with marketing this, marketing that. But we try to build a story around the marketing package and by, by, share, by sharing successful CEO stories that do great social media and things. But um, so we go out and curate the content. Once we have the content, um, what we do is we go to um, Social Champ and we actually enter that content. We grab the URL and we enter the content into Social Champ. It's just like a buffer or a Hootsuite or anything else like that. It's just like you're posting on one of the social channels. And um, then we queue it up. Right, so we so we put a, a engaging headline or something else like that, right? Something that calls attention with the link, and we include one or two hashtags in there. If we're working for a brand, we'll include that hashtag. If we're working for our own brand, we'll include that hashtag. Or if we're working, if we're trying to hit like a marketing event or a conference or something, we'll include the hashtag for that conference. Um, and then what we do is it's queued up in there, and there's a little button that says repeat. Right, so on Twitter, you can repeat up to 10 different times, okay? So we'll queue that post up um, one time, right? And then we'll hit repeat, and then we can schedule that out 10 other times. Or we can just hit go, and it will schedule it out every 24 hours. You know, it will, it will repeat, you can do 22, 23 hours, you can do different days on the calendar, and stuff like that. So you can see that as we go on, uh, we try to post two things in the morning, to, via um, social champ, and then two things at lunch, and two things in the evening, right? But as because we have content in there, because we have 100 or 200 posts in there, it's constantly cycling through. So basically, all day long, from eight o'clock in the from from 12 o'clock midnight to the to, to for, for the next 24 hours, every hour or two, a tweet 
is getting sent out, right? In different tweets, not the same tweet because we're starting to go around in a circle, right? Because we add them at different times of the day. Say we post at 22 hours, 22 hours next, or 23 hours or this day. So for, for, like, um, for like today, right? There was probably uh, say like 18 or 20 tweets that went out and I did phys- absolutely nothing. Right. All I did was set it up in the beginning of the week, kind of, and then spend spend two two or three or five minutes in the morning, five, another five minutes at lunch, another five minutes in the evening. So for fifteen minutes, I get a full day's worth of of work. And you need to be active on Twitter. So uh, that's kind of the process that we use. And then not only that, we'll, but we'll take what we did on Twitter, and we'll do the same thing for the Facebook post. 